Welcome to our third annual holiday nail art series with me, Sarah, from Sarah's Nail Secrets. And Talia from Talia's Nail Tales. This year we're doing 12 designs, but we're going to space them out a little bit different so the series lasts until Christmas. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a tutorial. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. Hey, you guys. I'm not sure what happened with the last video. Somehow my audio was crazy loud. So I downloaded this and I'm going to try to add my voice over, over top and um, maybe it won't will be fine but I'm thinking that this might be bad quality but we'll see <laughs> so right now I am using glitter bells raindrop and I'm applying this at the cuticle area this is a really beautiful light blue I picked this color in this design because this design is called ice princess and when I think of an ice princess I think of Elsa from frozen so that's why I picked this color because it's very frozen colored so I apply that at the cuticle area and then I just work it down the nail And then I have to add another bead at the tip and then I'm going to pull it up into that color. This doesn't have to be completely perfect because I am doing a big snowflake design with crystals at the end. So the next thing I'm coming in with is called White Magic from Glitter Heaven. This is basically just a chrome. So I'm just dipping my brush into the chrome with wet monomer on it and I'm just wiping that over top just to give it some extra shine. On this nail, I was inspired by Gel Nails by Jessie, and um, this is her design. So I'm doing it like that, but in acrylic. So I put down the raindrop down first, and I'm just patting that into place. And then I'm going to kind of mimic the design she had going on there. So I just got to get this down. Then I'm going to go in with Sea Foam Flake and apply that around the sides. And uh, it looks like ice shards. That's why I picked that. And now I will re-upload this and we will start from where I left off because it was only two minutes that was screwed up. So once I got that down, I'm applying my white magic in the center just to give it that shine. And then I'm going over top of that glitter on the sides and making it kind of look foggy by using Glitter Bell's Soft White, but I forgot to film a cutaway clip. Soft White's kind of like, it's a core powder, but it's a really light white. So anyways, moving forward, I'm doing some marble. I didn't do any marble yet in any of my Christmas series and I love marble. So I'm coming in with snow satin to start and then azure sky. And I am mixing these colors with raindrop and I'm gonna be using Glitter Bell's Liquid Silver, which is my favorite. This is an amazing glitter, but don't use too much of it. So I barely pick up any on my brush, the very tip. And then I use my very tip of my brush to pull the colors together to kind of mix them and make that marble. So you don't wanna add a lot of the shimmery colors so that they can take over and then, you know, it doesn't look like a marble anymore. So I'm just patting and pulling. You don't wanna play with your marble too much or you'll mix the colors too much. So I just put them on the nail, pull them through each other, and then I wipe off any extra off the side of the nail. I'm adding some of that white magic as well as some of the flakes, the sea foam flake from Glitter Bells. I also did the same design on her thumbs as well, but I did both her hands slightly different. So they're the same, but different pattern, but I didn't bother showing you guys her other hand because I thought that'd be too long of a video. So on her pointer finger here, I'm going in with Azure Sky, applying it near the cuticle area and then working that bead up towards the cuticle area, trying to get that nice. And then like I normally do, we'll work on the bottom half of the nail, but I try to get my cuticle area nice first. So this color marbles ever so slightly, you can kind of see, but to combat that, you can just mix the color while it's on the nail. Um, but I'm covering this with the sea foam flake, so it doesn't really matter that much. And I'm a little bit out of frame here. Sorry guys, I was only filming one camera angle this day. Once I got that down, I'm just applying that white magic chrome, so pretty over top and then going right in with the seafoam flakies. That's how they look. And now to encapsulate. So I'm using my Glitter Bells glass slippers. So all Glitter Bell products you can get if you're in Canada or USA from my site, The Nail Throne. And if you're in the UK, I will link the UK site for you guys as well in my description box. Always check my description box. I always put stuff in there for you guys. So I'm applying a bead near the cuticle area and then I'm just working it down the nail. Since these nails aren't insanely long or anything, I only really need to use one bead method. 
So jumping ahead so it's not too boring for you guys, I did encapsulate all the other nails and filed them off camera. And now we can go in with some crystals and decorate this design. So on this nail here, I'm going to be doing a snowflake pattern design. So I'm just using some clear crystals. I'm using some opal crystals, but they aren't white opal. I don't know what these are called, but they're like a blue opal in the center. And then I'm using these pointier ones to create my snowflake design. Uh, the glue I'm using in this set is the Ugly Duckling Stick It. I decided to use that because I find that it holds these really big crystals on really nicely. So that's why I used that. Um, I'm curing in between most of the uh, application of the crystals just so they don't move around. And then I'm applying some blue crystals and some white opal on the side. After I cured that I realized I wanted a little bit more so I'm just adding more blue, small blue crystals. Cured that. And now I need to add a snowflake on the pinkies to match that design I was copying. So just adding one snowflake using clear jelly stamper. I added a crystal inside the snowflake. I also put some crystals on her ring finger and her thumb. And now I'm top coating these. We're not done yet. I'm going to do something on her pointer finger after top coat. But I had to top coat first. Don't forget this step. You don't want to get this on your crystals either because it will dull the shine. But you can get it over top of the SS3s because they don't really have a lot of facets on them anyway. And you're not really going to notice if you top coat them. I just find I do that on the nails with just the one crystal on it. And then when I'm applying the uh, top coat around these, I'm just trying to be really careful not to get it on the crystals too much. And just go around and inside. It takes a little bit longer. You can totally top coat first and then apply. But this is just the way I like to do it cleaning up any mess with my gloved finger and then I'm top coating this now sorry it went blurry I cured that and now I'm using magic gels universal white I love this white I use this uh, gel paint a lot uh, I can't even believe I'm not out of it it's like a seven or five gram jar and I've used it for so long and I'm still haven't ran out <laughs> So anyways, I'm applying just this along the cuticle area and then I'm kind of jiggling my brush down. This is a ice set, so I'm doing some icicles. And then before curing that, I'm going to sprinkle some glitter on it. So the glitter that I'm sprinkling on is just some loose glitter I got from Glitter Heaven, um, Australia. And it was from one of their Christmas packs a while ago. So I'm just using a little scoop and sprinkling that on, cleaning up any mess, giving that full cure, had her wash her hands. And here is my finished design. So what do you guys think? I actually had a rough day this day. I wasn't feeling good. I was really stressed out, but they ended up turning out really good. So I'm really happy with them. Make sure you head on over to Talia's channel. Since this is a collaboration, make sure you see what she did. She did this beautiful red and silver set. Oh, I love it so much. I love red um, crystals and oh, I just thought it's turned out so pretty. Yeah, so make sure you go check that out. I will link it in my description box. So I hope you guys liked my design and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, click the bell next to it to be notified when I post and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.